Hello everyone, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will talk about Stack Overflow, so let's start. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe and let's go and see what this Stack Overflow is. So Stack Overflow is a website which is for developers, so if you want to learn, share your programming knowledge with others like I'm doing, sharing my knowledge with my YouTube channel, the same way you can actually share your code, answers, the questions or related to programming and it's very helpful for programmers. So if you are a programmer, uh, definitely you are using uh, Stack Overflow, but if you are new to programming, you should make an account there. I already have an account in Stack Overflow, so I will go through my account and show you some of the good features in Stack Overflow. So let's see. Okay, so whenever you log in inside Stack Overflow, you will see your uh, picture here if you uploaded a picture and you will see some numbers there and these numbers are your reputation on the Stack Overflow website. And also you will see some badges here, which is right now in my profile, I have 20 silver badges and 32 bronze badges. Okay, but how you gonna earn this reputation and badges? I will show you in a minute. Okay, and then you see some other features like inbox and recent activities. This will be open based on your performance on Stack Overflow website like how what is your reputation and based on that you unlock some of the feature on the website okay so whenever you register your account you will see all zero nothing no reputation no badges and you need to earn those badges okay so you will see the questions list of questions here and the questions which you are seeing here is based on the tags that you selected right now i added django maya mysql PyQt and Python because these are the languages or programming stuff that I usually work with and I want to see stuff related to that. Of course you can go and add more like C++ or Swift or Objective-C or whatever language you want to add you can add and based on that you will start seeing the uh, tags here you can see that these I am seeing this question because it is related to Python tag and I I included Python in my profile so that's why I'm seeing this so if I go uh, there's someone who is asking hey uh, how to create a function that return a prime number hmm so as you see that there are few uh, arrows here which is like if you like this question you can just up arrow that and if you don't like you can just put down arrow I'm not doing anything with this question but as you see this is minus seven there because there are many people who say that what the question you are asking right so they uh, the community uh, guys they don't like this and this is a very bad so whenever you ask a question and someone put that uh, down vote and then your reputation will be also down but if you ask a good question and that will get a up vote like this somebody asked this question and there is a up vote then the, the person who asked this question will get five points and their reputation will show plus five. So just now this guy Hadi asking a question and his reputation right now is 30 and probably he get uh, five from this up one upward because he asked a question and he get five points. But if let's say I answer this or let's say somebody answer this here and then if I uh, upvote this answer, then this guy who answered this, he will get 10 points, 10 reputation point. As you can see that he is very good Stack Overflow user. His profile is very good, over 10,274 rep score, which is very good. Since if you see mine is only 1836, which is nothing. Okay, so, but how I get this? Let's see, I will open my profile here. Okay, and once you go and see your profile, you will see your graph, how you are growing. Also, you will see your badges, how many badges you have. 
and what is the next privilege that you are going to get and i will get pretty soon edit question and answer if i get 2000 reputation point and i have badges here if you want to see the full list of badges you can see here and also you can see the summary and also uh, you can see how many questions you ask how many answers you give so for me i ask total 13 questions in stack overflow and i answered 78 questions so my answer is pretty high and because of that i'm getting more reputation so if you want to improve your reputation definitely you should focus on answering the question because once you put you know, give a right answer and somebody upvote that you will get 10 points for that so for example if i go to one of my answer which i gave and here is the question question was print uh, python print string to text file okay and the answer which i gave is if you're using python 3 you can use this if you're using python 2 you can use this and there are seven people who upvote my answer and because of that i get 70 point just from this answer also if you give an answer you cannot upvote your own you see you will see that you can't vote up and also one strict rule for stack overflow you can't create a fake account and come and upvote your your answers and upvote your uh, or increase your reputation if you do that stack overflow algorithm will catch you and after that the moderator will send you a message or your account will be blocked and so bots technique will not work to be honest i did it few years back when i was new in stack overflow i created a few accounts and after from those accounts i i upvote my all answers and suddenly my reputation goes who increased and i get like maybe three four hundred reputation per day and finally moderators send me a message and they say hey you are using bots and some uh, bad techniques to actually increase your reputation don't do that this is not fair for other programmers and all and this is against the policy of stack overflow so then they block my account my same account which i'm showing here and this is not a good idea so this is my my own experience so just be fair and give answers and then you get the reputation and if you see the progress here it will be growing it is growing yes you can see here it's growing so you can just follow the rules of stack overflow here another thing is which i would like to share here uh, the badges so if you see my badges here uh, i have a total 30 badges which is here uh, okay 20 silver and 32 bronze badges and in that if you see there are many badges which you can get multiple time so if i get a uh, if i give a uh, i get this badge because i give an answer to a question which is 60 days later with a score of five or more so 10 time it's happened to me and popular question i ask a question which actually get 1000 views so that's why a, I get uh, four times this popular question badge. Also, if you want to see a full list of the badges, you can actually select one of the badge and go to the badges. And here you will get the full list of all the badges which you will get once you achieve that. So once you ask a popular question, 1000 view, you can get this. Notable, 2500 view, you will get this badge. And with that, your profile will be getting stronger. So Stack Overflow is a kind of good social networking website for programmers where you earn reputation and badges based on your programming skills and based on your answer, answer capabilities and question capabilities. Okay. Also, whenever you give answers, you actually can put images there. I'll, I would like to show one of my answer where I used images. I don't know whether I can find here or not uh maybe it is something like that caption box all right so here is the 
answer where I gave with some images so definitely you can you can put your answers with the images examples here it's very good for other programmers to understand your your answer pretty well so you can provide the answer and also you can provide the uh, sample screenshot also with that okay stack overflow very helpful for programmers also let's say if you want if you are stuck in your code with particular situation sometimes it's very good to actually come here and and understand things so for example let's say if you if you're looking for how to how to uh, convert a list to dictionary something like that or uh, how to convert a, a string to uh, integer so you can start with python convert convert uh, maybe integer if you ask this definitely you will get answers and you can just go converting integers to string python and there are answers available there and you can just put string to integer or integer to string with that you can do that right so stack overflow very good website for programmer helpful for your day-to-day -day problems and uh, before using this i would recommend go and create your account and if some questions help you if let's say uh, I, I was looking for this uh, conversion of integer to string and this help my problem so it's good idea to give a upvote for the question and also upvote for the answer which answer help your problem solve your problem right so you can see that this answer is useful in my case i'm giving a demonstration and it is perfect i will give plus so then this way we can increase the uh, we encourage other programmers coders to actually come here and give their own um, answers pretty well and help in your personal problems also personal coding related problems also within that website so stack overflow this uh, video is all about the stack overflow programming website but there are many other stack overflow website which you can go and search like uh, like linux related and ubuntu related and there are, there are uh, many other stack overflow websites they created but for me right now i just cover the stack overflow main programming website so stackoverflow.com this is it for this video and still if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and wait for my next video where i will cover some more interesting tips and tricks related to programming world and vfx pipeline development i will see you in my next video thank you